The anguish of relatives of Alexandra, a 15-year-old girl gone missing, as they hear she's been murdered, along with another teenager, 18-year-old Luisa. The 65-year-old suspect admitted killing both girls and burning their bodies, according to his lawyer. There's been nationwide anger over the case, especially after Alexandra's family accused authorities of being too slow to respond to the three calls she'd made during a police hotline during her kidnapping. Now the country's constitutional court has struck down changes to the criminal code that would have halted many corruption cases. It's a separate saga, but it also touches a raw nerve. Protesters argue that the apparent mishandling of the killings shows that the government's judicial reform has weakened not only anti-graft cases, but also the ability of the state to fight wider crimes. The families of Alexandra and Luisa have accused authorities of failing to take their disappearance seriously. Romania's police chief has already been sacked, along with several other officers. On Saturday, thousands of demonstrators marched through the streets of the capital Bucharest, calling for government sackings over the case. Already under pressure following a disastrous showing in May's European elections, the government is now being forced to act, promising harsher punishments for crimes such as kidnap and rape. Natalie Hewitt, Euronews. Well, for more on this story, we can cross now live to Bucharest to our reporter, Alison Mutler, who's uh, standing by for us this morning. Alison, firstly, can you tell us, was this murder case the tipping point for this criminal code reform? It was indeed. Um, it came at a sensitive time. It provoked outrage in Romania, uh, the killing of this 15-year-old, uh, the abduction of her, and the res uh, response by authorities. Yesterday, the court struck down changes made by the ruling Social Democrats um, to these controversial changes, which would have made it much more difficult for to fight crime. For example, the suspect in this case was 65 years old. Well, under the changes, suspects or who are 65 years old would have had lower prison sentences. And what will happen next, do you think? The laws will have to go back to um, Parliament, uh, where they will be debated. There will probably be more debate with civil society and other actors. Uh, the government is under pressure because, since it came to power two, two and a half years ago, it has been pushing back against um, the justice system. It has been accused of weakening uh, prosecutors, and therefore it's made it harder for police and for prosecutors to fight crime, for example. In this case, they, they didn't go into the house for 19 hours. And there have been claims that prosecutors themselves are worried about being investigated for wrongdoing. So the government is under pressure. There's a lot of public anger that is, is continuing. It's still around several days after this uh, tragic event that, that, that is pressing the government to do something, to roll back their judicial reforms. Indeed. Okay. Alison Mutler, thank you so much for that report there from Bucharest.